Well, I've been in the wealth management industry for over 25 years, and I saw a wonderful opportunity as more and more women are gaining wealth to amplify the stories of women. And I wanted to do this for two reasons. The first was to drive a change in the advice industry and the way that they service women. But the second was to get women to start taking control of their financial affairs. My biggest takeaway from the research related to the huge amount of wealth that is going to land in the hands of women. Firstly, we're going to see that as more and more women having bigger careers, there's more female entrepreneurs out there in the industry, but ultimately there's going to be a significant intergenerational wealth transfer in the next 10 years. And so what we're going to see is 3.2 trillion land in the hands of women. The clients of tomorrow are going to look very different than the clients of today. Businesses today don't always cater to the needs of women and the way that they like to be engaged. So as a result, a lot of women don't get support from the wealth management industry because they don't feel that it's a place that understands them. What women tell us they're looking for is a relationship where they can have deep trust and hopefully with some further education and a focus on unconscious biases, we will start to understand women better and cater to their needs. One of the reasons I did this report is because I felt being one of the few female CEOs in the wealth management industry that I probably had a louder voice than, than I have ever had to make and drive some change. Our research tells us that today only 21% of financial advisors are women, but our report tells us that women want to engage with women. And I think this is a real opportunity for us as an industry to drive that growth.